hi in this particular video session what I want to do is a video showing lecturers how to assist students in actually registering their courses on Azar or what we know as CAMS so let's first type in an ID number for the student okay and when you are actually in the registration room they will tell you what is the default password for new students who are registering so we are currently in the students portal and you're going to scroll down on the left column until you find the link entitled registration so you click that and what you need to do now is to click show filter because we want to input a specific course that a student may be looking to do so for instance let's pull up a sequence sheet so here we have a student who is doing a degree in economics so it's a new student so we're looking at the year one courses so for instance let's choose a course accounting fundamentals of accounting one so the course acronym is ACCT 121 so let's go back into Azar and we click show filter so under department you will put the course code ACCT and under course number you put what number it is 121 after doing that you would scroll down and you would deselect all of the campuses all right so this checkbox here you can either select all or deselect all so you initially deselect it because all is selected when you by default and you simply come to the main checkbox because you're looking at the courses offered by the main campus and then you put apply filter Upon clicking that you scroll down, you see the course ACCT 121. How many groups are being offered? We see here two groups, group one and group two, and how many seats are in each group. After the student decides which group that they may want to be in, based upon, of course, the date, whether it's a Monday, Wednesday class, and what time. This, this class is at 12.15 to 1.30, and this is also another Monday, Wednesday class. Time is 5.55 to 7.10 so the student makes their choice based upon whatever preference that they may have and when that is done you, you tell the student to click credit click this checkbox mark credit and when that is done you simply scroll to this particular button marked process registration and that's it now what must um, what I want to explain is that the each course that you choose you must go through this process each time and click process registration so if a student is choosing five courses the process that I, I showed you of okay so let's start again we're going to the link mark registration we click show filter under the department we put the course code the letters of that course code so for instance we could choose econ and 226 which is microeconomics so we put that here and then we scroll down to and we click the checks box where we deselect all and then we only click the main campus after doing that you simply click apply filter and that is done and you scroll down you see all of the principles of microeconomics courses that are being offered by the university in this semester all right we see three groups group one group two and group three 39 seats 36 seats and 44 seats and therefore the student is able to make a choice based upon the times that is based upon their particular preference so whatever is their preference the student is now required to click the checkbox and then process their registration all right so 
in this particular for this particular student what we see here no checkbox is present because this student has not done the prerequisite course in order to do principles of microeconomics so we in comes if a student has not completed a prerequisite course they will not be able to choose the course that they're looking to looking for so we tell the student well if you do not have the prerequisite then you click cancel and you look for another course show filter a cct 121 scroll down you deselect all and then simply click main apply filter and because there are no prerequisites for fundamentals of accounting one you realize that the checkbox credit is there and therefore they can click that and then after clicking it they process their registration and then they continue this process until they have chosen all of their courses all right so this is the a video just showing you how to actually choose courses on cams um, I hope it has been um, understandable to all and that it helps you in assisting students during the registration process. Thank you very much.